Love that sweet sound of swish? Then register now for the 2010 Ironton Guest Macker 3-on-3 Basketball Tournament. Registration deadlines are May 21st by mail and May 24th online. Activities include the 3-on-3 Basketball Tournament, Slam Dunk Contest, and many more. Join us June 12th and 13th in downtown Ironton for the Guest Macker 3-on-3 Basketball Tournament. The Ironton Guest Macker Basketball Tournament is sponsored by Friends of Ironton, Liebert, Bob Kleiss, Marathon Petroleum, Our Lady Bellfront Hospital, and Lawrence County Juvenile Courts. From a rather inauspicious beginning more than 50 years ago, Safeguard has found its niche. And for Sandy and Mike Carroll, it's the perfect fit. Curry & Johnson has become one of the more popular names to call when in need of heating and cooling products or service. The company guards its outstanding reputation for providing 24-hour emergency service on all brands of equipment and for free estimates on installation of equipment. One known conductor of the Underground Railroad was named James Ditcher. Ditcher conducted escaped slaves from Proctorville to Portsmouth all along the southern Ohio border. There was only one reported occasion where Ditcher lost his cargo, but he always managed to escape. It was estimated that he helped over 3,000 people escape slavery. Few slaves had a conductor to bring them the entire route to freedom, feeding and guiding them for hundreds of miles. One may wonder how a runaway survived. As part of tradition and survival, many knew about the woods and the bounty it could provide and would pass that knowledge on to their children. When the time came to escape, it was only a matter of hope and determination to survive the long run of freedom. Many left with little preparation, but with even a little bit of knowledge, the environment can provide a bounty. Go to see them cereals every Saturday, mm -hmm. and we didn't care whether it's segregated or not. We wanted to see them at action pictures, you know. Yeah. And I didn't, but it wasn't like it uh, wasn't. Uh, I don't know. Segregation to me wasn't nothing really. It was just a uh, to me, it didn't bother me one way or the other. Back when I was a kid, there were quite a few more homes around yeah. here. Uh, there used to be one, well, let's say Mildred's mom lived, you go down here and turn left, go up that hill, top that hill. Mm -hmm. Her old homestead was there, and, and of course it caught on fire and she perished in that fire. Oh, she died in the fire. Uh-huh. And then, of course, Rita lived up on the hill, and yeah, uh, back Back when I was a kid growing up around here, this area and like the Dry Ridge area, it was a booming, booming place. Of course, the Blackboard place over there at the, the, the old uh, brickyard and everything was, they had their own post office and everything. And yeah, it was, it was a booming thing at one time. Well, I, I don't really know. I don't think there's, uh, as far as getting along, I don't think there's a whole lot of prejudice around here. I don't, I'm not sure that there isn't any today, you know. That you can go to Oak Hill or Ironton and there's prejudice there. It's really interesting that right here in this area that uh, everybody Well, just, uh, we, everybody knew each other here, you know. And I mean, if, uh, like I remember when, uh, I remember when I was a kid, you know, if uh, my dad needed something done, uh, horse speed, you know, he's a collared man, he would, he'd give you the shirt off his back. <laughs> 